And this is what you need to do when you fall victim to a ransomware attack. Because at the end of the day, neither humans nor software are perfect. And there is still a chance that a ransomware attack would split through the cracks in your defense and target your systems. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to handle ransomware attacks. Now, in the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity, ransomware attacks have emerged as a devastating threat to both individuals and organizations. The malicious practice of encrypting digital files and demanding a ransom for the release can have severe consequences, ranging from financial loss to reputational damage. And effectively handling ransomware attacks needs a proactive and well-rounded approach involving both preventative measures and a well-thought-out response plan. And so in this video, we're going to be exploring the key strategies for mitigating and managing the impact of ransomware attacks. These strategies will help you at all the stages of a ransomware attack, whether before, during, or after you face such a threat. Now, before we get into the video, one of the most effective and efficient methods to protect yourself from such a threat would be using a reliable antivirus. So if you don't already have one or are looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below, along with some discounts. So make sure to check them out. All right, so to effectively deal with a ransomware attack, you need to set strategies that would help you in all the stages of such a threat. These include preventative measures for the before phase, responses and mitigation for the during phase, and recovery and post-incident actions for the after phase. So let's kick this off by talking about some of the preventative measures you need to take to protect yourself from a ransomware attack. Now, one of the most fundamental preventative measures against ransomware attacks is maintaining regular backups of critical data. This ensures that even if their files are encrypted, organizations can restore their systems to a previous, uninfective state. Backup copies should be stored offline or in a secure, isolated environment to prevent attackers from compromising them as well. Another measure would be to have effective user education and training sessions. And that's because human error is a common entry point for ransomware attacks. Educating and training users on cybersecurity best practices can significantly reduce the likelihood of falling victim to phishing emails or malicious downloads. These users should be careful when it comes to clicking on suspicious links, downloading unknown attachments, and sharing sensitive information. Other than that, and as I mentioned earlier, using effective security software is essential when it comes to defending against ransomware. This includes antivirus programs, firewalls, and intrusion detection systems. Regularly updating these tools and applying security patches in a timely manner would help protect systems from known vulnerabilities that cyber criminals may exploit. Moving on to the network segmentation. Splitting a network into isolated segments can contain the spread of ransomware. If an attacker gains access to one segment, it becomes more challenging for them to move laterally within the network. This minimizes the potential damage and limits the scope of the attack. And lastly, you can use access control and least privilege principles in this step. Restricting user access and following the principle of least privilege limits the potential impact of a ransomware attack. Users should only have access to the resources and data necessary for their specific roles, which would reduce the attack surface and mitigate the risk of unauthorized access. Now, before we move on to the response and mitigation steps, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, having all them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection. The Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files. The Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint. Instant data leak notifications with Surfshark Alert. And Surfshark Alternative ID, 
which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor, and let's get back to the video. All right, now let's move on to the response and mitigation step. And this is what you need to do when you fall victim to a ransomware attack. Because at the end of the day, neither humans nor software are perfect. And there is still a chance that a ransomware attack would split through the cracks in your defense and target your systems. Here, there are five things you must do to limit the damage of a ransomware attack. First of all, you need to set up an incident response plan, since it's really important for effective mitigation of a ransomware attack. This plan should outline roles and responsibilities, communication protocols, and a step-by-step -step guide for containing and eradicating the threat. Regularly testing and updating the incident response plan would make sure it's always effective in real-world scenarios. Next, you have isolation and containment. Once you detect a ransomware attack, the immediate priority is to isolate and contain the infected systems. Disconnecting affected devices from the network can prevent further spread and limit the damage. Rapid response can be facilitated through automated tools that detect weird and malicious behavior and trigger isolation protocols. Then comes the communication and transparency step. Open and transparent communication is essential during a ransomware incident. Informing stakeholders, including employees, customers, and regulatory authorities about the situation shows accountability and helps manage the potential fallout. Organizations should also establish communication channels with law enforcement agencies and cybersecurity experts for assistance just in case they find themselves in this scenario. Other than that, there is the legal and regulatory compliance part of this phase. Following legal and regulatory requirements is extremely important when responding to a ransomware attack. Organizations may be obligated to report incidents to authorities and affected individuals, depending on the jurisdiction. Compliance with data protection laws and regulations is vital to avoid additional legal consequences. And lastly, cooperating with law enforcement agencies can enhance the chances of apprehending cybercriminals and recovering encrypted data. Reporting the incident to appropriate authorities and providing them with necessary information can contribute to ongoing investigations and the prosecution of many of these cybercriminals. And for the third and final phase, we have recovery and post-incident actions. This phase involves everything you need to do after the threat has been dealt with to get things back to normal. First, there's data restoration. Once the ransomware threat has been dealt with, organizations can now begin the process of data restoration from backup copies. This should be done systematically, prioritizing critical systems and essential data. Also, Thoroughly validating the integrity of restored data is essential to ensuring that it has not been compromised. Next, there's the post-incident analysis. Conducting a thorough post-incident analysis is really important when it comes to understanding how the ransomware attack happened and identifying areas of improvement. This analysis should include technical aspects such as the entry point and propagation method, as well as human factors including user behavior and security awareness. Then comes the continuous improvement part. Implementing lessons learned from a ransomware incident is just as important for strengthening cybersecurity defenses. Continuous improvement involves updating policies, enhancing security controls, and providing additional training based on the insights gained from the analysis of the attack. This process helps organizations adapt to evolving cyber threats. And finally, looking for assistance from cybersecurity experts can provide valuable insights and recommendations for enhancing your cybersecurity against future attacks. These experts can perform forensic analysis, identify vulnerabilities, and recommend specific measures to fortify an organization's security status. And that's basically everything you need to know about handling ransomware attacks. Don't forget that the first line of defense against such a threat would be using a reliable antivirus solution. So if you're looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below along with some discounts. So make sure to check them out. 
Also, if you like the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love interacting with you guys. And that will be all for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.